Brethren, one of the biggest struggles we face as followers of Christ is dealing with sinful thoughts and temptations that bombard our minds on a daily basis. No matter how deeply rooted we are in our faith, we are all still subject to the weakness of human flesh and the subtle whispers of the evil one trying to lead us astray. However, through the power of God's word and his constant guidance, he has given us the tools we need to overcome these sinful voices and prioritize our thoughts according to his will. The Bible talks extensively about the battle that rages within our own hearts and minds. Romans chapter 7 verse 14 to 23 provides a clear depiction of this inner conflict, with Paul saying, For what I want to do, I do not do, but what I hate, I do. For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want, is what I keep on doing. We see here that even the Apostle Paul struggled with tendencies towards sin and felt inwardly divided in his desires at that time. The default mode of our human nature is to gravitate towards what is evil, but with Christ's help, we can choose to follow him instead. One of the primary steps in dealing with sinful thoughts is taking every thought captive and making it obedient to Christ. We are told in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 5 to destroy arguments and every proud obstacle raised up against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. Sometimes these tempting thoughts come so swiftly that we don't even realize we're pondering them but we must be diligent to press pause on any notion that does not align with God's Word and replace it immediately with scripture or spiritual meditation. View every intrusive idea as an attacker that needs to be confronted and conquered through prayer and faith in Jesus. When twisted thoughts plague you, it's helpful to remember where they originate. James chapter 1 verse 13 to 15 clarifies that each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Then, after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Don't be deceived, my dear brothers and sisters. Understand that sinful voices are simply tools used by the evil one to trap you in a pattern of wandering from God but you have power through Christ to resist temptation and remain steadfast. Don't personalize or internalize the wicked whispers. See them for what they are, deceptive tricks from the father of lies. Once intruding thoughts have been captured and identified as enemies, the next step is to immediately replace them with scriptural affirmations or prayers to the Lord. Fill your mind back up with God's truth before the deceitful message takes root. Ephesians 6 verses 17 advises us to take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Employ the sword by quickly countering each lie with biblical declarations of truth. A few effective passages I've found are 1 John 1 verses 9, Isaiah 41 verse 10, Romans chapter 8 verse 28, and Philippians 4 verse 13. Choose verses that speak life into your specific areas of weakness and declare them till those voices loose hold and flee. Also, I will want you to understand that saturating your thoughts with Scripture eventually starves out the weeds of temptation through the nourishing rain of God's Word. James chapter 4 verses 7 says, Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Don't give sinful voices space to echo, or ideas time to incubate. Meet them with immediate resistance, by filling your mind with what is pure, lovely, and admirable. Philippians 4.8 Renewing your mind in this way leads to transformation, as Romans 12 verse 2 declares, helping you to progress from merely battling temptation to depriving it of any stronghold. And beyond responding in the moment, we must also take proactive steps to guard our hearts and minds from opportunities for the evil one to plant seeds of deception. Just as diligently as we feed our bodies, we must feed our spirits to remain full of God's light. Make time each day to immerse yourself in prayerful study and reflection of Scripture. Select spiritually uplifting music, books, or podcasts to consume as alternatives to idle scrolling or empty media. Control what you allow into your eye gates and ear gates. 
These are direct pathways for unhelpful thoughts to gain entrance. 3 John 1 verses 11 reminds us, Dear friend, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. Avoid people, places, triggers, or scenarios you have learned lead you towards temptation. Your greatest weapon is to live constantly aware of God's close presence in conversation and community with Him. Finally, beloved ones, place your confidence fully in the abundant grace and mercy of Christ to cover your failures and bring ultimate victory, not in your own fleeting strength to resist. When you do falter under pressure, as is common to human frailty, run immediately into the outstretched arms of our loving Savior. He kept His promise that, if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. 1 John 2 1. Meet each mistake with sincere repentance and a recommitment to follow hard after God. Then get back up with His resurrection power, having remembered that sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace. Romans 6 14. Walk as one freed through Christ to continually overcome in ever increasing measure, and He is faithful to complete the good work He began in you. My prayer, brothers and sisters, is that this message has equipped you with a clear strategy for battling the deceitful voices that want to lead you off course. The good Lord bless and strengthen you to live for Him daily. Leave us a like and do the work of an evangelist by sharing this video with the world. God bless you abundantly.